Welcome guys, welcome to this video. In this video, what I want to do, uh, in the last videos, we worked with the user profile so we can update the user image, but we were putting the images in the single folder uh, in the uh, user image folder. So uh, it's like all users images come in here. Now, if the user, multiple user upload an image with the same name, that can create a problem. And if we want to delete these images, that can also create a problem. So we want to make it category based so that uh, if a user one, the user with the ID one logged in, so there is a folder for user and there are going to be user images. And if the user of ID two is logged in, he uploads anything, it goes into a separate directory. In the code currently, I am here in the index where we are showing this. The image is coming here and we are putting image into the session. Now, in the previous video, I am putting this when the user logs in. So if user goes to user profile and changes the image, let's say we change the image now and update. And if I go to home, it stays the same because we are not updating there. So first of all, I'm going to change this. So let's do that. So I go to user profile. Uh, user profile is where we uh, user profile page is here and uh, uh, this page is from this form so this is submitting to this user profile update process which file is here now if you need these files the, uh, the link is in the description you can download to follow along now if i go here in this file so once the user clicked on up clicks on update we are including the database then we have username email and here we are getting the image so uh, here we are updating the uh, image so here we can uh, do this that the same thing that i did here so i added the image into session i'm going to copy this line i'm going to go here so where we are updating it and then uh, giving the success message right here we can uh, put image into the session so we know that image is getting in so we are getting the image name that is what we need to do here with this and I want to put this name if I set the image name then image name and this is going to go into the session now uh, we are uploading the image we are moving image here in this code so everything should work fine now so what i do here i go back to the code refresh the page i'm going to update update the image again and open update if i go to home now we have a new image so it updated it now uh, let's check one more thing here if i go to the directory of our project so if i go here SG Docs, uh, Sky, and we are storing all the images in public uh, user images. So here we are having the images. Now, the thing is, we want to store user data into a particular directory that is for that user only. So if you add any future functionality for user based, so you can have. Uh, under folder for each user so, because if a user uploads an image with the name of user and another user on the same application uploads the same uh, image with the same name that can create a problem so let's correct this so what I'm going to do here I'm going to uh, put a f uh, user ID so if I go to the database, we have the users table. Now you can see we have ID, username, user image. So we can have multiple users with different IDs. So what I do, I simply register a new user straight away. So I say here, mark, mark at gmail.com and one, two, three and register. So we have a new user now. I go to user profile 
and uh, I'm going to give Mark uh, this image. So I'm going to say update home. So we, we have Mark. Now if we go here, uh, John is one, Mark is two. So we have two users. So uh, now when we are signing up, uh, we do, we can create here. Oh, for now, because we are updating the profile image here, uh, updating here. So I want to do uh, right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, put the user ID. So if you notice here in the code, let me show you. So we go to user profile. So user, we are getting the username, email, and then we are setting the image and updating it. So here. Uh, we are there when we uh, set the update when user clicks this update button so this function fires so I go to user profile and here I'm going to create uh, input and what I'm going to do I'm going to give it the ID so I'm going to say Dave uh, all right simply can say input now this is going to be type hidden now we can use uh, input of type hidden to pass some hidden data that is user won't be able to see it on the browser but we can pass data through this so I say here name is equal to uh, user ID and we also going to provide the value so we already have the uh, value coming So you can see that we are inside the loop right now. Uh, so, and the way we are displaying the name in the form, if you remember, we are displaying the name and the email here by default when user comes to this page. So the same way we are going to pass the email, uh, user ID. So I'm gonna just gonna copy this, and I'm going to put it here, and just gonna pass ID. All right, so if I see here our SQL query, we are selecting everything. Uh, we have star here, so we should be getting the ID. That's not going to be a problem in this case. And yeah, now I'm going to save this. I'm going to go into the browser and I'm going to refresh the page. Now I'm going to go and inspect this. Now if I inspect this, you can see here we have a type hidden input on top of it with the name of user ID and we have a value of two because we are mark and in database we have mark id2 so using this user id name we can get this value so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this name and i'm going to go into this uh, process file where we are processing this and i'm going to uh, create a variable user now what do we want to do to make everything separate for each user so when we upload the file here we are setting the path uh, or we are say calling it the file new name so here I can do this then I can say append and and uh, slash in it and again dot inside we need to put user ID so uh, watch it carefully we have public folder then user images then there are going to be a, a number which is going to be user ID uh, it's going to be a folder and then inside we have the image it is going to upload the image there here I go here and refresh I'm going to select an image I say open update um, now it says fail to open no such file or directory now this is something that we need to uh, put a condition here what happened is uh, if I go to browser and go back so inspect user value 2 so we are passing that all right you need to upload the image inside public user images then user ID is 2 so number 2 folder then image name so the thing is there is no this folder is not present there so we need to create it so we can do this we can so I'm going to check if this directory is present as uh, we need to avoid that error so I'm going to just use a function is underscore dir 
this is a PHP function that checks if directory is present and we need to pass pass the path to that directory so we are going to pass till this point all right we're going to put inside it now uh, we are going to check if this directory is not present create this directory so I am going to put this way now here I'm going to say mkdir this is another function that creates the directory now we need to pass the path here and comma then we're going to say 0777 now this 0777 is the permission it is going to set to the directory so that we can access that directory without any problem so let's do this uh, I'm going to put here slash as well and save this now what I'm going to do I'm going to check if it is working so I'm going to refresh the page and upload an image to see now this time it says user updated successfully and if I go to the folder structure we you can see that we have folder number two and then the image so we successfully created a user based uh, image upload so that if I go uh, log out and log in with the John so and user profile now if I say let's update the user image for John and update it updated it go to the folder structure now we have John image here inside folder so if you have thousands of users you, you can see that each user will have a folder for uh, that particular user and can have separate files now we have the images going into separate folder for each user we want to display it as well the same way so for example uh, currently if I go to home page we are showing this image and this image is coming from here where all the images by default were present so I'm going to delete these and if I refresh here uh, the image is not there now uh, it's giving us a square box I want to hide this if there is no image so what I do first I go to the files and go into index.php so here we have that uh, image tag that it's displaying so we are checking if uh, user name is set so here we need to check again that if user image is set so let's do that so I'm gonna uh, start and then we want to show this so I can cut this and I need to start the PHP here and then PHP here and this statement going to end here we can indent it a little bit so that it looks better now the path to the folder image it's like public user image then the user ID so we need to provide that too but currently we are not putting user ID into the session so wherever we are setting the user image we can set the user ID as well so let's do that and what I do here for now I'm going to put a slash and I'm going to copy this I'm going to paste in here and I'm going to call it ID now you can call it user ID or let's do that we call it user underscore ID so now it should be working just fine so we have the way it's supposed to so if I go to the directory you can see that it will go into public user images then the user ID and then the image file name which is inside here so let's see now we have the we have to set the user ID so we are setting user ID when we are logging in so here I go so here we are getting the all data from users so there are going to be no problem so what I do here I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste here and I'm going to call it user ID but in the database we have only ID if you remember and let me show you so if I go to the database and here we have the ID column so it's going to fetch the ID and we can put in into the user ID so it's going to set this so I'm going to copy this line as well from here so when the user updates here so we can set the user uh, ID here as well so uh, 
here we are getting the uh, image name we are getting the variable here so we can pass this variable as a user ID so if you set user ID all right so it's gonna put there so we were not getting the image because we removed the image and here so if I refresh uh, so we just created the functionality for this user ID and uh, we haven't set the user ID and that might be that is the reason it's uh, not setting because we are not uh, this is happening when we are changing the image as well as on login we are adding the user ID so to set the session ID uh, if I right click here and inspect Uh, you can see that undefined array key error so uh, we don't have the session ID set so what I, we need to log in again so I log out and log in and then I go to John log in so we have the user image showing up here now if I go to the directory and you can see that user image is coming from the folder and if we inspect the image so we have the public user images then there is ID one, then the user image name. So that's how we can do it. I know the world is not in her.